Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install MS-DOS 7.10 on Microsoft Windows Virtual PC 2007. First create a virtual machine for other and create a virtual hard disk for it. Double click it to get it going. Over here we see the CD and the floppy. Release the CD and release any floppy images you have. Now go to capture floppy disk image and you should and make sure you have two IMG files or IMA or DSK or VFD files. Make sure they're at least a, make sure they're a floppy image. So you should have DOS 71 underline 1 and DOS 71 underline 2. Double click DOS 71 underline 1. And we see it says starting MS DOS and now we're in the setup wizard. Click next. Hit next. I agree, and then next. Continue. No for rewriting the code. Over here, you choose your directory path. In this case, it's C drive DOS 7.1, so we're just going to keep it that way. If it says already existing, um, Click yes to overwrite it unless you have stuff inside it that you want to keep for some weird reason. Because this is in the virtual machine. Or if it says it doesn't exist, click yes to create. So I'm going to overwrite it. There are three installation types to install MS DOS in. There's a full installation, DOS commands only, and a minimal DOS system. And we're going to do the full installation because we have two disks, but if you only have one, you can do DOS commands only or a minimal DOS system. And if you're booting fl from the images, unclick install add-ons and it do it doesn't really kill you because I don't it doesn't really um add on too much. And it'll save you time if you don't. So click next. Yes check all the information if it's correct hit okay if it's not hit change but it's okay now and now it's unpacking the necessary files for um, installing MS-DOS when you get here go to floppies release DOS 71 underline 1 dot IMG and capture DOS 71 underline 2 and then click OK. And then click Continue to um, finish setup. If it says your previous config.sys and autoexec.bat have been renamed to config dot dash 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 and autoexe dot dash 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 respectively, just hit OK. Click yes if you want to see the DOS logo and click no if you don't. We're going to do it though. It won't take up too much more memory. Click no. Click yes. Enable UMB memory. Load, load both. Continue. And continue. Congrats. You have completed MS-DOS 7.10 installation. Click OK. And click yes to reboot. Now take any floppy out of the drive. And there you have the MS-DOS logo. Now if you don't know what to do, like it says over here, type help for help. So type help. To, um, hear some DOS, to see some DOS commands and learn what they do, click fast help. And to be in a full screen MS DOS help system, type DOS help. To get to the MS DOS shell, type in DOS shell. That's D O S S H E L L. DOS shell. Click, click on the screen to get the pointer going. And now we're in the DOS shell. We can choose the drives we want. You can um, choose fi some files and some main. 
if you don't like the color that it starts you with, you can go to options and color. And you can choose a couple of variety of colors. And if you're not really sure if you like the color, you can click um, on the color you think sounds good and click preview. And you can do it with a whole with all the colors. I'm gonna go with Emerald City. And that's MS dot seven point ten seven point ten installation on installation on Microsoft Windows Virtual PC two thousand seven. But this video was created by Guinea Pig Pat and that's all.